realized I wanted to be a musician was watching Hard Day's Night with my mom. I was about seven years old, and after seeing Ringo play, I knew it right then and there, I wanted to be like that guy. I was always inspired by the drums. My next door neighbor was a drummer, and I bought his, my first drum kit from him for $25. I begged my mother, because she would always buy me those like Christmas kits, and I'd break them in like an hour. He was like, hey, I'm getting a new kit. I could sell this one to Johnny. I'm like, Mom, please. So I just remember getting it that day. The next day I woke up was a Sunday morning and polished them up and putting jewelry around the kit and everything. And that was it, man. I, right, right then and there, I was about 11 years old. And I knew I'm going to just take this as far as I can go. I was always a rock drummer, like a hard rock drummer. And then I was asked by Exodus if I could do the tour with them. I was Charlie Bonante from Anthrax's drum tech. And it was a big challenge for me to step into that kind of style. And so I did that, and from Exodus I went to Testament. And then after Testament, that's when I got the call for White Zombie. And that's kind of more my style, the groove kind of playing there. And then that led me into Rob Zombie. And then after that disbanded, then uh, I got to play with Helmet, which was really exciting, because playing, playing with Paige Hamilton, he's just an incredible musician, and made me a better player. You know, they do a lot of odd time styles and all that, so it was very challenging and exciting. Playing on the electric tour was really amazing for me because I seen that tour as a kid and I loved the record. I was, it was one of my like, top 10 records of all time. I always stick to the, you know, the actual basics of the song and I'll add my thing, but it was so much fun. The energy was there and you know, there's some songs we sped up and slowed down, so, but we captured that vibe. And as well as um, back in 2007 or eight, I believe it was, we did the love record and that tour was really cool as well. I had a bigger kit because I tried to, you know, emulate some of Mark Wazicki's kind of style, you know, playing on that. So I had some concert toms, a snare on the side, of just a bigger around kit. And to play Royal Albert Hall sold out and have Mark Wazicki play on my drum kit was fascinating. I just sat on the side like, this is not happening, man. I have a lot of influences. Obviously Ringo, seeing Hard Day's Night. My older brothers got me into music. I was very influenced by the 70s rock as Led Zeppelin, John Bonham, Black Sabbath, Aerosmith, Kiss, all those bands from that genre. And then the older I got, um, I started practicing and really taking it seriously, taking drum lessons. And my teacher was into jazz fusion. And then I started getting into like Steve Gadd, Tony Williams, and Billy Cobb and those kind of guys. Until this day, I just, there's so many great drummers. Terry Bozio is one of my idols, as well as Simon Phillips, Steve Smith, Barry Marbalo. I mean, this is just, the list goes on, man, you know? There's some really great drummers out there these days. I really love Ron Daler from Mastodon. I love his style, and Danny Carey's a good friend of mine, and he's definitely at the top, you know, because I'm really into that progressive rock as well. The new generation, there's some really good kids out there, man, and they're playing fast, and it's like, wow, where did that come from? It's exciting. What I love about Tom and their family business, I've been with them for 20 years now. They've always taken great care of me and the product speaks for itself. I never had a problem with the hardware ever and I just love everything. It's really clean and precise. Nothing is too bulky and I don't know, their shells are incredible, the drum, they just speak for themselves and, and especially like touring for a long period of time and you need something that's dependable and they definitely are strong enough for that. I play Zoltan because I've been playing them ever since I was a kid. It was the first cymbal company I've been with and they're another great company, family-owned business, and their product is incredible. And they have all different lines of symbols you could pick from. Uh, what I love about the uh, SoundLab Project 391s is uh, I've been playing it for a couple of years now as prototypes. And I had talked to Paul Francis what I was looking for in the symbol. It's really crisp, cuts through everything, clean, precise, and as well as durability. I, I had him on tour for the whole Cult Choice of Weapon tour, and I didn't break one symbol and it cuts through loud music, and that's what I need for that type of style. I'll tell you a funny story, when I was a kid, I um, was taking a drum lesson, I had enough money saved, and I went to this music store and bought the cymbal, and on the way home, I was on the bus, and this old man said, is that a Zildjian cymbal? I go, yes. He goes, you're on your way, kid. I was like, right on. <laughs> I'm 
I'm very happy with my signature snare drum. It's one of my proudest moments ever. Obviously having your own drum by Tama as well. Came up with this concept years ago. They made a few different prototypes. I would um, always play a bell brass drum. I wanted something close to that sound. So we went with a seven instead of six and a half. And this is two millimeter brass. And it's beautiful looking. It's all black brushed nickel, as well as the shell and the lugs and the throw off. And if you see the bottom of the snares are even black. So it's very stealth looking, cool. I could really tune it down, get the fat, warm sound out of it, as well as cranking it high, getting that really poppy, cracky sound out of it. And I use it in pretty much most of the records I ever recorded. I mean, since I had the drum. And I own 65 snare drums, but this is my always the, the go-to guy right here. So. And the producers love it. When I was a kid, uh, playing drums was my way, my expression, you know what I mean? Just to break away from everybody, I would just like sit in a room for like hours at a time and just practice and not go out at times with my friends on weekends and really take it seriously. And, I, and uh, it's just a love I have and I'm very fortunate. I just never lost that passion. It's just, I love the drums and try to play as much as I can when I'm off tour and on tour. I just go to sound checks and it's just, yeah, something that right in here. Man.